What's going on, everybody? My name is Danny Vitale, and I'm a junior at Marple. Um, but before I get into reading you guys' story, I just wanted to have a raise of hands. How many of you guys like the Phillies? How many of you guys are Phillies fans? How many of you guys play baseball, watch baseball, whatever? All right, that's a lot of hands. I hope I can't actually see you guys. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a baseball fan too. Got some stuff down here in my basement. So yeah, I'm a fan too. But I just wanted to, I thought it was fitting to ask that because I'm going to be asked, uh, reading you guys The Philly Fanatics Fantastic Journey, which is a book that my parents read to me a lot when I was a little kid, which I absolutely love. It's by Tom Burgoyne and it's illustrated by Len Epstein. And also it was made in 2005, which is probably definitely older than all of you guys and almost older than me. But I'm one year older than the book. All right, here we go. It came, it came, the Philly fanatic yelled as he ran from door to door with a big box in his hands. What came, his mom, Phoebe asked. The mailman just delivered my new supersonic world transporter, said the fanatic excitedly. Your what, Phoebe asked again. It's a new travel machine that will hook up to my four-wheeler to take me places all over the world, the fanatic exclaimed, jumping up and down. The Philly fanatic took Phoebe to his room to show her his globe of the earth. Mom, in school we are learning about different countries and all the customs and traditions that make each country unique, the fanatic explained. So I ordered the supersonic world transporter from the back of my comic book. I want to see if people in other countries play baseball too, said the fanatic. Oh, fanatic, Phoebe sighed. Don't you know that those silly gadgets you order from the back of comic books never work? Do you remember those x-ray glasses you sent away for last month? But mom, this really is going to work, the furry green mascot pleaded. I'm going to travel all over on the world. Phoebe just rolled her eyes. Oh, fanatic, you and your crazy ideas. Just make sure you're back in time for dinner. The fanatic was excited. He grabbed his toolbox and rushed to the door to hook up his new transporter to his rusty red four-wheeler. Does anybody know where that is? Shout it out if you know what that place is. Citizens Bank Park. Good job. Got it. He ripped open the box and placed a shiny gizmo between the handlebars on his bike. With a couple twists of his wrench and a few turns of a screwdriver, his new supersonic transporter was all hooked up and ready to go. The fanatic was learning about Japanese culture in school. He typed the word Japan into the keypad of the transporter. I've always wanted to visit Japan, the fanatic thought to himself. I hear the people in Japan love baseball as much as we do here in America. When he pushed the red takeoff button in the transporter, his four-wheeler's engine began to roar. The Philly fanatic held on tight as the two back tires turned around and around. Bright blue and gold sparks shot from his exhaust pipe like a 4th of July firework, firework show. Within seconds, the fanatic and his trusty red four-wheeler disappeared into the air, leaving only a cloud of dust behind. That's pretty scary. A few seconds later, the fanatic's supersonic ride came to a grinding stop. Woo, that was just like the roller coaster ride at the amusement park, thought the dizzy mascot. The fanatic looked around. Everything looked much different. He knew right away that he wasn't home anymore. In the distance, he saw a gigantic snow-covered mountain stretching up through the clouds. The Philly fanatic recognized that, the mountain right away from what he had learned in school. That's Mount Fuji. I must be in Japan. My supersonic transporter works, exclaimed the fanatic. The Philly fanatic drove right into Tokyo, the largest city in Japan. He couldn't wait to go to a baseball game at the Tokyo Dome. Look at all the people going to the game, he thought to himself. That He's there with a sumo wrestler. Inside the Tokyo Dome, the fanatic knew right away that things were a little different here in Japan. Instead of selling hot dogs at the game, the vendors were selling raw fish called sushi. Where's your hand if you like sushi? Uh, I don't like it, but that's, that's a story for another day. The fanatic also noticed that all the signs in the stadium were written in Japanese writing and the songs that they played in between innings were sung in Japanese. The fanatic even got a chance to dance with Japanese mascots on the field. I think Philly fanatic is probably the best mascot there, though. Even though the Fanatic was having a lot of fun in Japan, there was still more of the world he wanted to see. How about Australia? He thought to himself. He typed in the word Australia, pushed the red button, and held on tight. In a flash, the adventurous mascot was whooshed away in his magic four-wheeler to a place he had never seen before. All around him was dry, desert land with the furry-looking animals that he had learned about in school. Kangaroos, the Fanatic yelled, pointing to the furry creature hopping by. Children in Australia love to play outside. They race bikes, hike in the bush, and, and swim in the ocean. Baseball is a new sport in Australia, and Aussie kids are just starting to learn how to play the game. The fact drove to a field where the baseball game was just getting underway. Hi, hey, mate. You want to play with us? Oh, that was horrible. One boy called out. You bet I would, the fanatic replied. Better at a British accent, probably, than Australian. 
After the game, the fanatic told all of his new friends about his incredible journey. He waved goodbye and then typed the word Mexico to the transporter. Just like that, he was whisked away to another distant land. Now, one, one more question. Uh, where is Mexico? Is that above America, where we live, or below? Point with your fingers. Good. Down. Below. His four-wheeler landed right in front of an old baseball stadium. A big game was just getting underway, so the Fanatic bought a ticket and rushed in to find a seat. Fans in Mexico love baseball. They cheer at the top of their lungs for the home team, and they sing and dance throughout the whole game. Baseball games in Mexico are like one big birthday party. The Fanatic got into the act by putting a giant sombrero on the top of his head and dancing with the umpire out on the field. The crowd clapped their hands and roared with laughter when the Fanatic rolled his belly round and round. It's quite a sight to see if you've ever been to a Phillies game. After the game, the Fanatic was whisked away to another faraway place, Holland. From the baseball field where he landed, the Fanatic could see huge windmills spinning around on the mountainside. I wonder if I could hit a home run that far, the Fanatic thought, looking out at the windmills. I definitely could not. I was not good at baseball. They like playing soccer in Holland, and they like playing baseball, too. Some people in Holland like wearing wooden shoes. But when the Fanatic tried running around the bases in wooden shoes, he fell flat on his face, which is probably what I would do as well. Here, try these instead, said a girl to the Fanatic, handing him a brand new pair of sneakers. You'll be able to run fast in these. Thanks, said the Fanatic. Those wooden shoes were making my feet hurt. The little girl laughed at the silly mascot. Giving him some nice sneakers. The Fanatic looked at his watch. It was getting late, and he had to be in home time for dinner. I better go home. My mom will be waiting for me, the Fanatic thought. He typed the words home, sweet home, into his supersonic world transporter. It was blasted back home. In a bright puff of smoke, the Fanatic reappeared at the exact spot where his journey originally started. It was a fun trip, but it's good to be back home, the Fanatic thought to himself. At the dinner table, the Fanatic could not stop talking about his worldly adventure. Mom, it was great. I got mask. I met mascots in Japan, saw kangaroos in Australia, and danced in a big sombrero in Mexico. Goodness me, Fanatic. You sure, are you sure you have a wild imagination? Phoebe said with a chuckle. In bed that night, the Fanatic dreamed of his exciting journey and the fun he was going to have at the show until the next day at school. The end. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, keep watching the Phillies. Hope you guys have a great day and stay safe. See you next time.